This guide shows you how to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 after the free upgrade ends on the 29th of July. Now it's still possible to do this for free as Microsoft are offering free upgrades still after the 29th of July for customers who use assistive technologies, i.e. customers with disabilities that use some of the accessibility options in Windows 10. So people that use these can still are still eligible to upgrade for free even after the 29th of July. Now as far as I'm aware um, from what I've read on the internet, Microsoft doesn't actually check to see if you're using any of the assistive technologies um, when you're downloading or installing uh, the free upgrade. Um, so you could try if you've if you've missed out on the deadline of upgrading for free, you could try and uh, install this still and uh, hopefully still get your Windows 10 upgrade for free. Uh, now to do this, you go to this website, which is www.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash accessibility forward slash Windows 1.0 upgrade. That's www.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us accessibility Windows 1.0 upgrade. Once you've gone to that website, we scroll down the page and we left click upgrade now. A box will come up at the bottom of the screen. Do you want to run or save? Just make sure that it's from download.microsoft.com. If it is, then just click left click save. This might take a little while to download. Um, okay, once it's downloaded, we click left click run. It says to us, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? If you've got uh, user account control switched on, this will come up. If not, then it won't. Um, if it does come up, click left click yes. Okay, and then all we do now is we just follow the instructions on screen um, to upgrade to Windows 10. Now, please bear in mind, this is only for users of Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. And really, it's for users that use assistive technologies in uh, Windows to give them more time to, uh, to upgrade to uh, Windows 10. Um, once we click Accept, um, it will start downloading Windows 10 to the computer. Now, it, it is more than three gigabytes, the file that it needs to download, so it could take several hours to download um, on your connection, depending on how fast your internet connection is. And it could take an hour or so after that to uh, install on your computer. Um, but before you do any of this, please make sure that you back up anything important, just in case the worst happens and uh, it all goes wrong. I mean, so far I've not had touch wood, I've not had any failures upgrading to Windows 10. I've done several of them. It has been pretty reliable, uh, but still, belt and braces, make sure you've got a good backup. Thanks for watching.